We made it. This is just the beginning. But you chose the right side, and I'm pleased. Wish I could be so sure. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Fultus's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. If the elves could be believed, it was there that free folk from all around had assembled beneath Vergen's banners to resist the Kedweni invader. I should mention the exceptional individuals who made up my fellowship for this important quest. I usually get nervous around Scoia'tael. I see them as scoundrels and murderers and find their presence outright unwanted. But I must admit I was glad to have the help of Yorveth and his infamous bunch, who could prove highly helpful. Help, helpful, that's not nice. Highly useful then. Three thousand men, burnt to ashes in minutes. I remember the stillness when the news reached Vengerberg. The palace, the streets, the houses, the entire capital cloaked in silence. The cries were here, every last man. I was somewhere beyond that hill, in the middle of the massacre. What is your intention, Saskia? I intend to stop Eden from being sold. But we cannot afford a war with Henselt. We must parley. Leave issues oh, of war to me, Prince. Concentrate on King Hensel. Yarpin Zigrin claims he's short-tempered. Provoke him to strike, and we'll negotiate once the battle's won. I still cannot fathom why the nobles betrayed us. Spit on the nobles, Prince. They've meant nothing since the day my peasant force scattered them on the Diffney. By the good deity Creve, my lord. The girl is a demon incarnate. Firstly, the girl has a name. Secondly, she's the best commander I have. All others have betrayed me. But she's a monster. Creve spoke to me in a dream. I saw a snake-like she-demon devour your heritage. Silence, Olcan. We near the meeting place. We shall sign everything, your majesty. As you. We have guests. Welcome, Stennis, son of Demavend. I invite you to join us. Greetings, Henselt. You seem at home in Edurn. You are here, yet I do not recall inviting you. Felart did so in your stead. I'm here at his behest. I've broken no truces or treaties yet. Oh, is that so? Mr. Brogan, please escort Count Felart to a secluded spot and remove his troublesome head. Don't you dare, boy! You're no king! Your father! My father is dead. The folk still mourn him while you betray his good name and his country. Your Majesty, I must request your protection. This young man has lost his mind. Take him away. Your Majesty, what of our agreement? I need you no longer, Ferret, now Stennis is here. Anyone else wish to object? Wonderful. To the matter at hand, then. Well said. I will show you my hand. I have over two hundred armed men encamped nearby, enough to hold the fort for several hours. Another five thousand battle-hungry lads await on the other bank. What say you to that? In attacking Edurn, you would break the provisions of the Peace of Sintra. All the northern kingdoms will be obliged to support me. None will stand with you. Radovid of Redania, the Dukes of the South, you dream, boy. They're not to be counted on. And the treaty? I piss on it as do they. You are alone. Not entirely. I'll stay out of this, Saskia. Well, well, she has a voice. Saskia the Dragon Slayer. You're much prettier than they claim. 
You'll need to throw in the last two. Peasants should work the fields, not rebel and burn down the estates of their masters. It's to your advantage to give her up. I'll not allow it. This land is under my protection. If no one else has the courage to stand up to you, I will. Listen well, King. You have one hour to quit Upper Eden with your forces. If you fail to do so, it's war. If but one Kudweni soldier remains on this land one minute past the deadline, it's war. You will instruct your heralds to proclaim around and about that you apologize to the people of Eden for this shameful incursion. Otherwise, it's war. <laughs> You've got balls, woman. My soldiers would call me a coward. Or a madman. I am Hensilt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even a dragon slayer. That apart, you're a pretty fetching lass. I want this land. I want its gold. And I want you, dragon slayer. Grab them! <laughs> Stop! Stop in the name of Kreev, Freyr, and Militele! By the milk of Mother Creatrix's tits, Geralt of Rivia, and are the best company to boot. Yarpin Zigrin. It's been years, you old prick. It's great to see you in good health. Geralt, staring as if you've seen a ghost. Muster up a hug for an old friend! Geralt's head's not exactly on straight. Ha! Meaning you truly did in, Foltest. Fine by me. Foltest was a plowing niggard and a niggardly plower. You did right, Geralt. Not the point. Geralt's lost his memory. And I didn't kill Foltest. Right, right. What's the difference? Someone did. But we've bigger problems now. Where's Saskia? Oh, aye. Why is this butcher here? I've come with a hundred archers, the best in the world. We're here to aid your cause. Well, you'll need to wait. Saskia and Prince Penis, sir, uh, rather, Skinnis, went off to parley with Henselt. Me and the boys are waiting in case something goes wrong. The sun's gone dark. Call the sorceress! Come, Geralt. Saskia! Get Saskia! She must not die!
An owl! Philippa, she'll show us the way. Yorvith, you've got some explaining to do. My error is blood. Wraiths! Silver harms them. I'll cover you. Mardi, help me! Shut up, Dwan! Flying through fog. Saskia, are you all right? It's just a flesh wound. You and the Witcher, we owe you our lives. I'm here to protect you. And you, Witcher? I'm after a Kingslayer who kidnapped Triss Marigold. And brought her here? Is this an interrogation? There are warrants on your head in Tamaria, Kedwin, and Redania. And I'm responsible for Saskia's safety. That's enough, Philippa. You told me yourself you thought him innocent. Saskia, folk are riled. First the sun went out, then the squirrels arrived. Now this fog. It's too much for the common folk. True. Summon all the commanders to the meeting hall. Yorveth, give me some time. I must prepare them for your arrival. Witcher, Philippa, you must be there too. I wish to hear what we can expect from this anomaly and how we might be rid of it. Worry not, Yarpin. The legendary White Wolf and the equally famous Philippa Eilhart should have a remedy for several hundred rabid wraiths. I want to see all commanders in the council chamber. Philippa, that includes you and the Witcher. Cecil, the gates are to remain shut until we're done. You'll answer with your beard if they open for any reason. Welcome to Vergen, Witcher. I'm Cecil Burden, the Alderman, Geralt of Rivia. We've got a spare room at the inn. It's not much, but uh, at least you'll have a roof over your head and a solid bed neath your ass. Thanks, I could use that. Scalen, show Master Geralt to his quarters, and visit Reverend Alkin's chambers on your way back to inform everyone that uh, he has departed. That is, that he died a hero, slain by the invaders. Exactly. You see, Master Witcher? He's young, but clever. We'll make a real dwarf out of him yet. I heard human women need only sit astride a man's pants for their bellies to puff up. Slug it between the eyes! Yeah. 